Columbia nonprofit is getting $15 million in the state budget in hopes of making Columbia a hub for quantum supercomputing. Cities like Chicago and Chattanooga have implemented similar programs. News 19's Becky Buds has the details. Access to a quantum supercomputer will be here at the Boyd Foundation Innovation Center on Saluda Avenue in Five Points. The money will also help create a program for education, research and workforce development around this new technology. Tech entrepreneur Joe Queenan says the future of computing is quantum. Everything that's important to us, whether it's aviation or batteries or pharmaceuticals, it's going to be impacted by quantum very soon. He's hoping that the future will unfold here in Columbia. That's why his nonprofit, the South Carolina Quantum Association, asked for $15 million in the state budget to create a quantum supercomputing hub in Five Points. We're competing with China, who's throwing $10 billion a year at this. This is coming. There's no doubt about that. It's what role can South Carolina play in this? So what exactly is quantum computing? And so you can solve for multiple problems concurrently, whereas a supercomputer, you're only solving for one at the same time. Queenan says the money will also pay for employees, training, and online courses that could be accessed statewide. The association plans to partner with Benedict College on its curriculum development efforts to increase diversity in the field. And so if we're not really intentional about making sure everyone has a pathway forward to this, we're doing ourselves a disservice. The effort has the backing of Mayor Daniel Rickenman and USC's president. It also is being championed by State Senator Dick Harputlian, whose district includes five points. And it will allow us to become a tech hub here in Columbia, which is good economically because we'll be, again, using our intellectual capital. Last year, Governor Henry McMaster vetoed a $25 million earmark for the association to purchase its own quantum computer. This year's proposal is different. Queenan says the association is using some of the money to rent time on someone else's computer. And what that allows us to do is using one today's generation technology. So as it gets updated, like your Tesla, the supercomputer, the quantum computer will get updated. Queenan says that the hub could be up and running in about 45 days. Reporting in Five Points, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. More than a billion dollars in federal funds have been distributed so far as part of the National Quantum Initiative Act, which passed in 2018.